Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Now, my face is not naturally this red. I have popped on the Ordinary Peeling Solution, so that's currently on my face. And I thought that for today's video I would actually film a clean with me video. So I'm going to show you everything that I do today for cleaning. Every weekend it's different. But what I like to do when I'm cleaning is to pop on a face mask or do something whilst I'm cleaning and it just motivates me to fit more cleaning into the time. So I've popped on this peeling solution and now I'm going to kind of get all my tidy and bits and bobs done whilst this is on before I wash it off and it just helps me to stay motivated. Every weekend is different. I actually make a list in my planner of what I want to get done over three months in terms of cleaning and then every single week I will do my weekly planning on a Sunday where I will then pick a few things off of that list that I want to do the following weekend for example cleaning the microwave cleaning the fridge or I might want to clean the toilet or hoovering or something like that so there's things that I do every three months so I don't clean everything very often so you know the microwave I will do every three months or something like that so it's not something I use that often so it's not something I'm going to clean too often but things that I do every week I will show you in this video and there are things that I do every other week so I will hoover every other week because I don't need to hoover every single week um because there's pretty much only me living here. Jamie sometimes is here, so I don't make that much mess. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna get up to in today's video, but I am gonna be using the floor, we're wiping down surfaces, I'm gonna be hoovering, I'm gonna be um, putting down carpet foam, I'm gonna be mopping the floors, and there is something else that I'm going to be doing. I think I'm going to be cleaning out a few cupboards in my kitchen. So that's what's going to be happening in today's video. But the first thing that I do is I start off the day by just tidying. So before I start any cleaning, I make sure that everywhere is tidy. So that's what I'm going to do. And also I'm filming one of these videos because I personally really love watching clean with me videos. I will sit and watch them for hours. I love them so much. They motivate me to clean so much. So list me any of your favorite like YouTubers that do cleaning videos if you're like me and you watch them as well. My favorites I will pop on the screen. There's two people that I watch. One person's called Jamie's Journey. So she is probably my favorite. She makes um, one to two videos a week and they're always nice and long and then there's someone else's channel called Clutter Free Zone and I quite like her videos as well so I will link both of their channels below if you like watching cleaning videos as well. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just packing away everything from the washing up that I did the previous night and just giving the place a little bit of a tidy up. I like to tidy up to start off the day because it kind of gets me motivated to continue cleaning for the rest of the day. And also it's hard to clean in an area that is not tidy. So this is my tidying section of the day. So I've done all the tidying up that needs doing. Now I'm gonna do a face mask and then I'm gonna crack on with preparing things that I am gonna need, like what clothes I'm gonna wear today and what makeup I'm gonna wear. So I'm just gonna get everything set out ready just to be organized. And then once my face mask has been on for 10 minutes, I'm then gonna go and pop in the shower and get clean. And I'm actually gonna do a hair mask in the shower as well. Part of my reset routine is once a week doing like a face mask a liquid peel and also hair mask and various other things so I'll show you my Sunday reset routine another day but I am going to be using my Fresh Face by Georgie Car Charcoal Clay face mask this is available on my Etsy and eBay so if you want to purchase this this is available on my Etsy it has loads of great ingredients in it it has charcoal pieces it has activated charcoal which is great for the skin 
go and follow my skincare business instagram which i will link in the description if you want to go and check out anything or any information about my products or anything but yeah this is great for my skin tone if you've got spots if you've got oily skin this would be perfect but it is also suitable for other skin types as well So now I'm going to use this winter spice of flora. I'm still using this up from Christmas. This stuff lasts me ages. Now I do this thing once a week where I take two capfuls of Zaflora and I pop it into a bowl. I add some warm water, well actually steaming hot water from the kettle. This is important because the steam from this creates such a great smell. And basically I will pop this bowl into every single room in my flat for just two minutes and the steam scents the room with the winter spice and it's really nice. And after I've done that, I will then get a cloth and I will wipe the surfaces. But whilst the steam is doing its thing in each room, I do some washing. So I pop some things into the washing machine. I was deciding whether or not to put my shoes in because they needed a clean, but I did put them in in the end because damn, they needed cleaning bad. So yeah, I'm just using my unstoppables and my usual cleaning stuff for washing. And yeah, I like to pop that on whilst I get things done. So I'm just getting my hoover ready for hoovering, obviously, by cleaning it out. I like to clean it out every single time I hoover just to make sure that it stays clean, it doesn't get blocked up and it does actually perform better when it's got less stuff in it. So I give it a bit of a clean. I now get there's a flora out of the bowl that I was using and I use my method spray. It's the, oh, I can't remember the scent of it. It might be grapefruit I'm not sure the scent of it but I basically use the method spray and there's a flora water to wipe down my surfaces just to clean the surfaces and I do this once a week so I will also just basically wipe door handles bins anything that you would touch throughout the week light switches just anything like that and yeah I do this every single week it cleans everything and it just makes everything smell really really nice I'm also giving this tray a little bit of a clean. I don't know why, but I really love this tray. I think it's the marble effect and the shine to it I just like. I usually keep my tea, coffee and sugar on this, so it's like a little drink station. But yeah, I'm just giving it a bit of a wash because it's got sugar attached to it. But yeah, we get it looking nice and clean. I also clean the sink as well. I don't clean it thoroughly. This is just a quick wipe over. Every so often I will really thoroughly clean the sinks and the toilets and everything. But once a week I just give it a quick wipe and that does the job. I've just realized there's a lot of noises going on right now. There's the washing machine and then for some reason the sink has started making a noise. But I just wanted to say, if you can hear what I'm saying, that I was gonna clean the cupboards in my kitchen or at least I was gonna clean a few. I really hope you can hear me. But I decided that I'm tired. I decided that I'm tired. Um, it's half past six in the evening and I've got work at 6am tomorrow and I don't want to be cleaning all evening. I've still got hoovering to do, I've still got mopping to do and yeah I just want to basically 
get that done and then just rest for the evening. I still have other things that I need to do as well um, on top of that. So I'm gonna hoover now and then I'm gonna mop the floors and that's gonna be it. Usually I would do a little bit more cleaning than this, but this is gonna be a little series, a little cleaning series. This is like part one. Um, I'm gonna do many other cleaning videos where I will show you cleaning different things. I also wanted to wash my bed sheets today as well, but again, didn't get around to doing that. I actually forgot, and if I was to clean them now, they wouldn't get dry in time for me to put them back on the bed because I don't have any other bed sheets. I just wash the ones I have in the morning and then they're dry by the evening. So, fun, but yeah, that's realistic. Sorry about the noises. I'm gonna start off hoovering in the kitchen because this is a carpet and this gets the dirtiest in here. I'm also gonna hoover in the bathroom and then the living room. Then I'm gonna mop the floors and then I'm gonna go and do hoovering upstairs. So I'm now starting off by shaking this rug. This rug honestly has so much bits attached to it. You will see in a minute how many bits and bobs was attached to this rug because it's all over the floor now. But yeah, I gave that a bit of a shake and I'm just gonna hoover the living room first. I know I said I hoover the kitchen first, but I actually decided to do the living room first just because I find it quicker than hoovering carpet. Is it just me that finds this really satisfying to watch? This is all the stuff that came off of that rug. Like this is your reminder to wash your rugs. I do wash the rug quite often, but at least give it a shake because that is a lot of stuff attached to it. Once I have done the living room, I'm just moving through to the kitchen. I do actually also hoover upstairs as well, but I don't show that in this video because I didn't want the video just to be me hoovering. And I will show it in my next cleaning video that I will film just to kind of mix things up a little bit. But yeah, this carpet actually has a texture to it, which makes it look like it does have some bits on it anyway. So if you're thinking I'm not hoovering everything up, I actually am. Well, at least I'm trying to. As you can see here, yeah, there's some spots and bits and everything that's just part of the carpet. So I'm now using this carpet foam. I'm not sure on the scent, but I just give the carpet a good spray with this every time I've hoovered it and it does last quite a while and it just keeps everything smelling nice and fresh. I do often find though these carpet foam things do get clogged up and I don't know why. So let me know if you have that as well because it's really irritating. But after doing this, I grab my Febreze fabric freshener and I just spray this onto any fabric. So rugs, the carpet, any towels, any cloths, my sofa, that kind of thing. And I also do this once a week and this just keeps everything smelling nice and fresh. And I just really like everything to smell fresh. So that's why I do this basically. And yeah, any blankets, etc. And then I use this spray, this is just a room spray from Febreze, not sure on the scent, but yeah, again, this is just to obviously spray the rooms to make them smell nice. Now it's time for me to mop the floors. I use two capfuls of Sephora mixed with a little bit of fairy liquid. Not too much fairy liquid because it would create loads of soap suds everywhere. But I first of all start by mopping my bathroom and I think it's important to mop surfaces like this, especially in the bathroom because this is where you could get like 
unclean things and yeah I just think it's good to mop regularly so I do mop my floors twice a week whenever I've hoovered obviously I always hoover first and then mop but this not only cleans but it creates a really nice smell there's a flora just floats up into the air and it smells really really nice again I do the living room as well I would highly recommend using the flora if you haven't tried it before because honestly I really love it So this is what my living room is looking like now, all nice and hoovered, all nice and mopped, fresh and clean. It's smelling really nice and yeah, I'm really happy with it. The rug has also been slightly cleaned and then the kitchen has also been hoovered as well and carpet foamed. Again, the room is smelling really, really nice and all the surfaces have been wiped down and the bathroom is nice and clean and shiny as well so this is the end of my cleaning for today so that is now the end of my clean with me video i know i didn't do that much cleaning on camera but this is my first clean with me video so bear with me i will film more in other cleaning videos i have done hoovered the upstairs we were downstairs, mopped the floors, wiped the surfaces with the flora and put some washing in the washing machine, including my shoes, which I need to make sure I dry for work tomorrow. And yeah, there was more stuff I wanted to get done today, but never mind, I will just add them to my list next weekend. So yeah, I'm not sure when I'm gonna do another cleaning video, but in the next one, I will show different rooms. For example, I didn't show upstairs too much, well, I didn't show upstairs at all in this video, and I will in the next one, and I, just to make kind of every video a little bit different. But thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of video, and remember to leave me any suggestions for any people that you watch um, cleaning-wise on YouTube in the comments. Um, but apart from that, I will see you in the next video. Bye.